Hi, hi, hi there, class. It's Mr. Falstrom, and today we are going to be doing some practice with decimal number forms. So let's get started. Our learning goal is we are going to read and write decimals using standard form, word form, and expanded form. And I realize that it's been a while since we have talked about number forms, so we're going to do a very quick review. Here is a number in standard form. This number is 2 and 38 hundredths, and we wrote it with numbers, which is what standard form is. Word form is when we, instead of writing with numbers, we write it with words. So now I've changed it to 2 and 38 hundredths, and you might notice that the word and I made bold because I want you to remember that when we're reading a decimal, and is our decimal point. So 2 decimal point 38 hundredths, 2 and 38 hundredths. And then we also have expanded form, and you can see that I've put the number on this place value chart. And to write the number in expanded form, it would look like this. Now, look at the numbers that I've changed color. I've made these colors sort of match the places on the chart. So expanded form is like this. We have two ones. How many tenths do we have? We have three tenths, and then we also have eight hundredths. And so that's really what we're doing there. I'm showing that, hey, the two in this number stands for the ones place, and then I am also have three tenths and eight hundredths. So we're just breaking the number down by its place value. And um, in expanded form, the way that we express the decimals is that we, uh, we just write them as fractions. And then another form, which you're not going to be um, tested on in this video, is just picture form. So for example, just modeling with the base 10 blocks or even drawing a quick picture using base 10 blocks. And this is also um, showing 2 and 38 hundredths. All right. All right, it's time to test your knowledge. And I would just like to say that um, look, looking at a place value chart that all, that has decimal places on it, you should have one in your notes by now. Um, looking at that will be helpful for these questions. So if you don't have that out, um, pause the video and pull that out to help you. All right. So this first question, I'm just asking what is the value of the underlined digit. So I've underlined the four in this number, and what what place is that? What is it? What is it worth? What is that four? E what is it equal to? And that four, it's in the hundredths place. So um, you could say that it's worth four hundredths. Um, you might have said it in word form. You could have said it in uh, standard form. You could have written it as a fraction. All of those are correct because they all stand for the same amount. They represent the same value. Next question. Please tell me the value of the underlined digit in this number. And you might have said two tenths and uh, I mean, that, you, that's what it's worth. It's two tenths, and these are different ways that you could have expressed that. You could have written it in word form or standard form or as a fraction. 
And finally, what is the value of this underlined digit? And it's that four stands for four thousandths, and these are all the different ways you might have written it. Okay, we're going to switch it up. Please type the standard form for this number. And the standard form for this number is, that's how you write two thousandths in standard form using just numbers. How about this one? Please just type the standard form. And the number is one and 39 hundredths and in standard form, it looks like this. One decimal point, 39 hundredths. And finally, go ahead and type the standard form for this number. And 489 thousandths would look like that. You might not have put in a zero, you might have just a decimal point, 489 thousandths, and that is okay. And we're gonna switch it up again. Please choose the correct answer that shows the uh, correct expanded form for 253 thousandths. And the correct expanded form for this number looks like this. So if you uh, look at the number in standard form, um, you can see that I have two tenths, two times a tenth. I have five copies of a hundredth, five times a hundredth, and then I have three copies of a thousandth, so three times a thousandth, and we'll do another one. Again, just please choose the correct answer for the correct expanded form for seven and 632 thousandths. And the correct form looks like this. So you'll see the number in standard form. There's seven and 632 thousandths. So I have seven copies of a one plus six copies of a tenth plus three copies of a hundredth plus two copies of one one thousandth. So way to go. Um, we are going to continue to work in our uh, in class on more problems that look just like this. So if you didn't do so good or you're confused about something, um, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you. And our recap, just really fast. Um, so standard form is basically the same thing as a, a it means number form. So there's a, a standard, there's a number written in standard form. Word form, you're writing, you're placing the numbers with words. And then there's expanded form where we are kind of breaking down, the, breaking the number down by place value. So this number uh, is two and 156 thousandths and expanded form, that means I have two copies of a one, I have one copy of a 10th, I have five copies of one 100th and adding uh, six copies of one 1,000th. And then there's also models or quick pictures using base 10 blocks, which we're not going to use too much, um, but it's still they, they can still be helpful. We will use them more when we start to practice adding and subtracting decimals. So um, there's our learning goal again. So in this video, you read numbers and you practiced writing them. And we looked, we expressed decimals in three different forms. We did standard form, word form, and expanded form. So hopefully you feel a little bit better at that now. So thank you for participating and I will see you on the next video. Great job.